Hi everyone, welcome to Beer with Brad episode 3. Tonight we're going to talk about a very common question I get at the art fairs. Is that photoshopped? But before we get to that, let's talk about tonight's beer. For tonight I picked a Moab, mother of all Bettys from Nebraska Brewing Company. Uh, Nebraska Brewing Company is one of the oldest, I think it's the third oldest still active brewery in Omaha or in the Omaha metro area. Um, and probably fifth or sixth oldest in the state of Nebraska. Uh, so they've been around a long time. They have a really well-known core group of beers uh, that you can find pretty much anywhere. But if you go to the brewery, uh, you can find a lot more of their specialty beers like this Moab here. Uh, like I said, mother of all Bettys is what Moab stands for. They have a whole line of Bettys. Black Betty, Sexy Betty, Rebel Betty, Little Betty. Um, but my favorite is the Moab. It's a bur uh, bourbon barrel aged imperial stout. So uh, has a great bourbon aftertaste. If you're into beer and you like bourbon, it's a it's a winner in my book. Um, like I said before, I think every brewery has at least one style or group of styles that they do really well. And you know, Nebraska Brewing Company has uh, some good IPAs um, and some other really good beers, but I. For me, my favorite at Nebraska Brewing Company is their barrel-aged beers. They do a lot of barrel-aged beers. They have a barrel-aged barley wine called Fat Head. It's really good, too. So when I go there, uh, that's usually what I'm looking for. Tonight, we're going to talk about a question I get all the time, which is, is that photo photoshopped? And the short answer is, absolutely, everyone uses Photoshop. I'd say 99% of the professionals use Photoshop. But I think when people ask that question, what they're really getting at is, is that photo fake? Which the short answer, not at all. My goal as a photographer is to always make my photo look to what I saw that night. And I guess I better stop before I get that far. When I make these videos, I'm referring to my fine art photos, the stuff you see on my website, the stuff you see at art fairs, the prints I sell. Um, my fine art work that I go out and take for myself. The you know, fine art photography means that you're out there uh, fulfilling your artist image, trying to create a scene that you you, know, you came up with. Um, the stuff I shoot for clients, some of that is ridiculously fake. I mean, I Photoshop stuff, Photoshop stuff all the time. You know, I've done everything from remove street signs to add appliances that didn't exist. I mean, just whatever the client wants that's what that's what they get and if that means i'm photoshopping the heck out of it i i do that for them but when it comes to my fine art stuff when i'm selling prints those pictures are real they're genuine i would tell you all day long i'd stand behind them that they are real and genuine so i think a lot of times that that fake question comes from people that don't quite understand photography or don't understand how photography was or is and I think you got to look back to the film days, you know, people thought, there's a lot of people that think you just stuck a roll of film into a, a point and shoot camera, you went out and you shot some pictures and you dropped the film off the lab and then you got your prints and they were in a little yellow folder and you took them home and looked at them and that was photography, which is absolutely not the case. If you were a professional or, or even a, a very experienced hobbyist back in the day, you really did a lot of work with your film and your pictures and in your camera to get the photo you really wanted. You, know, you could process your film differently. You could pick different films to do different things, pick different films for the scene you're shooting in. And so today is no different. Instead of picking the film or processing the film the way you wanted it, you're taking the picture in a camera in a raw mode and basically in the raw mode, you're not trying to produce a finished image in the camera. You're basically trying to collect the most data you can for that image in the camera. And then you take that into Photoshop and you fine tune the image to look the way you want. So in the, in the dark room, you were fine tuning uh, an image. You were taking film and fine tuning an image. In, in Photoshop, which Photoshop is the digital darkroom. And I also should say, Adobe makes Photoshop, they make Lightroom. They both do a lot of the same things. They do things a little bit differently. Uh, they also both have their specialties, but I mean, they're very interlaced. They do a lot of things, they work well together. So you were fine tuning an image in the darkroom and in the digital darkroom, Photoshop or Lightroom, you're fine tuning an image. It, it's all the same thing. Now, like I said, my goal is 
to always show you what I saw with my eyes that night. I'm not out there to wow people with my images. I'm not out there to create something that wasn't there. I don't want to come up with some crazy spectacular image that didn't didn't uh, didn't happen. I always want a, a realistic. Uh, portrayal of what I saw and they, some of that goes back to like my when I'm out taking pictures I'm outside doing things outside because I love it I'm out there I'm hiking because I enjoy the outdoors I'm taking pictures of the skyline because I love you know that dynamic skyline scene you know the railroad pictures I've always since I've been a little kid been in the railroads uh, the aerial photos I love riding around the helicopter that's why I don't use a drone so the pictures are basically my adventure like the pictures are me documenting my adventure and so I'm not out there and I don't take this as like some arrogant or like uppity uppity uh, thing but I'm not out there to impress people I'm not out there to like show the world like this incredible picture that you know may or may not have existed I'm out there to show you what I did what a fun I had and if people don't like it I don't really worry about that and it's not that I don't care but I've found over the years that the best pictures I take and the pictures that most people like are the pictures that I took because I enjoyed them if I try to like push too far in one direction and, and it just it doesn't come off as authentic and I don't think people enjoy them as much and I don't enjoy them as much I don't enjoy taking them as much so uh, I would much rather be out there hunting for the cool scene with the best lighting and the best sunset or the best sunrise or just the best clouds, the best lighting. Just the fun, the thrill of the hunt is so much more than sitting at a computer working on Photoshop. I'd rather go out to the same scene 15 times and try to get the picture I want than to spend a couple hours on the computer trying to make the image I want. It's just not me. Um, I know there's people out there that would rather manipulate stuff in the computer, and that's fine. People can do what they want, but for me, if you're getting a picture of mine, it is, it's what I saw that night, or um, a close representation of what I saw. And when I say that, is like, you know, sometimes I'll do like a 30 second long exposure where you see the, the, the headlights and the taillights of the cars moving. Of course, that didn't really happen. You couldn't see that with your own eyes, but the overall scene, the light on the buildings, the light in the sky, the way the clouds were lit up, all that is real, all that is authentic, and that is, you know, what I what I consider a realistic image. I don't really I'm not in I, I'm indifferent to what people do with their own photos. Um, you know, there's people that like to do crazy stuff and there's like people like to do composites and blends and whatnot and and that's fine. More power to them. I just hope everyone does what they want. For themselves because that's what they enjoy doing uh, to me photography is just it is a great excuse to get out and have fun and explore and see new things and go to new places um, not to create new places or not to create imaginary places so uh, I hope that kind of explains the whole Photoshop part um, to me like I said it's kind of a I don't know it, it it's a weird question, it's a loaded question, and I hope people are, are more, you know, viewing my work just to view it and not to worry about how it was made. It's kind of one of those things too, like, do you go to an art fair and you ask the painter if they use a paintbrush, or do you go to an art fair and ask the potter if you use the pottery wheel? I mean, my camera's my tool, Photoshop's my tool, my lenses are my tool, my tripod's my tool. You know, the potter has his clay, he has his pottery wheel, has their, kiln they have their little sculpting tools but uh it's just it is what it is i'm making art i'm enjoying it i'm having fun and i just hope people enjoy it and, and doing this for 20 some years now i do know people enjoy what i what i do and and that's great you know i'm gonna keep doing it i, I always tell people and it sounds weird again i don't mean this to be arrogant or anything but if no one liked my photos and no one wanted to buy my photos and no one wanted to comment on them online, I'd still be out there doing it because I have fun. I can't wait. I can't wait to go on the next trip. I can't wait to climb the next hill. I can't wait to get up on a building and shoot. I can't wait to get in the helicopter again. You know, if I had the lottery tonight, I would be out.
taking pictures 24 7 so uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, hope you're enjoying your beer tonight my Moab from Rascal Rude Company has been great uh, I don't know what is on tap for next month I have a few ideas I haven't settled on one yet but this video this is this Photoshop video has been so tough I've actually tried recording it um, over several different days, actually several different weeks and over two different months. So um, I thought I had it knocked out right away at the beginning. And then I've kind of thought, well, no, I should say this or I should say that. So it's been it's been a long uh, couple months trying to get this number three out the door. Number one and two were so easy. Number three has been tough. Hopefully number four is a little better. And I think most of number three, three being so tough was just that pho this Photoshop is a loaded question. I could go off in so many different tangents. So Photoshop's like the hub of a wheel and the, the spokes. You can go in a hundred different tangents. I also think you get three or four people sit around a campfire, have a couple beers and talk about Photoshop all night long and their different philosophies of it. So uh, if you do have a idea for uh, episode number four, Go ahead and throw it down there in the comment section. I'm always open to ideas. I have, like I said, I have a few ideas spinning around right now. Uh, they will probably all come to an episode someday down the line, but I don't know specifically which one will be number four. So, thanks for tuning in this evening, and we'll see you on the next one.